Hi guys, changing IP address to create multiple accounts on the same device is one of the most popular way. Today, I will introduce you to two simple ways to change the IP address for each Chrome profile without being detected by websites. There are two methods you guys can use to change IP address. The first one is changing manually on your device, and the other one is using extension. Following these steps to manually set up proxy on your device. Step 1, click on the three dots and open settings in Chrome. Step 2, select system and click on open your computer's proxy setting. Step 3, turn on automatically detect settings in the automatic proxy setup section. Step 4, set up the proxy in the manual proxy setup section. After turning on the proxy server mode, add proxies in the format IP and port. If you don't want to use a proxy for a specific website, add it below, separating each website with a semicolon. Finally, click Save. If the proxy requires a password for access, enter it when accessing websites. That's it for the first setup method. Next, I'll guide you through the second method, which involves using an extension. After accessing the Chrome Web Store, search for VPN extensions and add them to your Chrome profile. Choose the extension based on your needs. I'll add a random extension as an example. Once you've added the extension to your Chrome profiles, open it, select a location, and click Connect to switch your IP to that area. Now each of your profiles will have a new IP address. However, I don't recommend using free VPN extensions for two main reasons. Firstly, they are extremely slow. Secondly, they lack security. Most of these IPs are already blacklisted. You can check the quality of IPs on IP Fighter or Pixel Scan. All of these profiles will be detected as using proxies. It's best to use reputable paid VPN providers like NordVPN, HMA, or ExpressVPN. So, I've just finished guiding you through the two methods of changing proxies for Chrome profiles. However, many of you may still encounter the issue where even after changing the proxy for each profile, websites still detect the use of multiple accounts. This is because the IP address is just one of the four factors affecting the registration and management of accounts. The other three factors that you need to pay attention to are, firstly, user information, such as email, account numbers, banking details, IDs, used for registering and creating new accounts. Secondly, browser fingerprinting, which includes all the device settings you're using, such as operating system, browser, memory, hardware, software, etc. And finally, user behavior, which includes how you farm and interact with the platform. Behaviors like spamming, posting content that violates policies, etc., can lead to your account being suspended. You can read more about these four factors in the ebook MMO 101, The Secret of Anonymous Browsing by Hyde Mayak. They've written it in great detail, with illustrative examples, so even newbies can refer to it. I'll leave the download link in the description section below. Speaking of Hyde Mayak, I'll also guide you on how to change IP addresses for profiles on Hyde Mayak. When creating a new profile, click on the proxy section, choose your proxy, and then add in the format host, port, username, password. If you want to add proxies in bulk, simply select the profiles, click on the Add Proxy button, add each proxy on a separate line, and then click Add. I find this method extremely convenient because it allows you to simultaneously change proxies and machine parameters for each profile. If you want to naturally farm multiple accounts, you can also consider exploring automation scripts on Hide Mayak. Above, I've just guided you on how to change proxies for Chrome profiles. If you're using an anti-detect browser like Hide Mayak, you can add proxies right when creating a profile, which is convenient for managing a large number of accounts without being detected by websites or platforms. Thank you for watching video. If you found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe. Goodbye, everyone, and see you in the next videos with more tutorials and tricks.